And there are more causes for concern internationally. Uh, the whole notion of plutonium, uh, our mm. weapons-grade plutonium, where is it? We're, we're having some problems accounting for all of that. Mm. And uh, for more on this story, we're happy to call in the editor of Breaking Energy, Jared Anderson. Uh, Jared, we thank you for your time as you Skype in from Westchester, New York, and remaining with us, Pete Hoekstra, uh, former chairman of the House Intelligence Committee in Newsmax, Washington. Jared, what did you guys find out about our weapons-grade plutonium? Well, it's, uh, it's highly enriched uranium, and uh, through a Freedom of Information Act request, we uh, obtained a document that um, was uh, a, a Nuclear Regulatory Commission document, and uh, it, it details um, the highly enriched uranium export program that uh, the U.S. has conducted since the 1950s uh, and still goes on today, though to a much lower extent than, than it has in the past. Um, and there is a, a, a small volume of um, highly enriched uranium that uh, has not been completely accounted for. Uh, and that, that, that's really what this uh, report is about. So, Pete, let me ask you this. How are we supposed to inspect Iran and see if they have weapons and we can't even find our own? It becomes a very difficult question. Uh, but, you know, this is obviously something that we need to be concerned about. This stuff could probably be uh, relatively easily used to create a dirty bomb in, in a more sophisticated environment. It maybe becomes, you know, the, the feedstock for a more sophisticated nuclear weapon. And with what's going on in Iran and what's going on in the Middle East, you know, if we end up with a bad agreement in Iran, what you're going to see is, I believe, a nuclear race in the Middle East. And at that point in time, you're really going to want to dig into this and find out as best you can where this material went to and who now has it and what they may intend to do with it. Uh, gentlemen, I think you could tell from the nature of uh, my misspeaking earlier that I must have been given a social pass in both chemistry and physics during my days in uh, high school. Again, as Jared points out, it's highly enriched uranium as opposed to weapons-grade plutonium. Nevertheless, there is a real threat and a real problem when you cannot account for it. And given the eagerness of Iran to gain a nuclear weapon, given uh, the fact that North Korea is now a nuclear power. It is something uh, that we need to continue to monitor. And in that spirit, gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to stay with us. We will continue the conversation, get more insights from Jared Anderson and Pete Hoekstra as we continue here on America's Forum following this Newsmax Now update. Alongside Miranda Khan, J.D. Hayworth, back with you on America's Forum. Let us continue our conversation with the editor of Breaking Energy, Jared Anderson. Uh, Jared, we were talking about the fact that uh, our government cannot account for some of our highly enriched uranium. Now, take us through the process. I want to make sure I understand. We have uh, given that to some nations for, quote, peaceful purposes, have we not? Yes, that's correct. Uh, for use in research reactors and for uh, medical isotopes. Um, yeah, the program has been going on for a long time, and it's something that's trying to be wound down now. And given all the non-proliferation issues, um, you know, there was an effort made to account for all of it. And it really uh, appears to be more of a, um, a housekeeping issue, the fact that, that it hasn't been able to um, all be accounted for. However, uh, still, you know, it's, it's an interesting finding, and um, you know, that, that's what uh, this article that we've wrote, written is, is about. Interesting finding, nice choice of words. So do you think they'll actually find the uranium? Uh, I, I think that they'll, they'll probably be able to account for more than, than has been accounted for, and uh, it, it's made very clear in the report that um, you know, some of it has been... Um, burned up or irradiated and some of it has, has been lost to waste so there it, it's very detailed um, reasoning as to why uh, they haven't been able to account for every kilogram of, of the highly enriched uranium that's been exported um, and I, I should also mention that uh, it, it's believed to be uh, within the, the European Union and we have you know, several intergovernmental agreements we have agreements with uh, individual nations and also 
with intergovernmental organizations like your Adam, and uh, the terms of those treaties sometimes make it difficult to share the information and, and um, you know account for you know all of this material. That, uh, that's really what's what's detailed in, in the document. Jared, one way to describe it, you used uh, housekeeping. You also were uh, used the term accounting, and we hope that uh, in the days ahead we'll have a more uh, complete accounting of this because obviously uh, highly enriched uranium is not your everyday uh, matter. Uh, Jared, stay on the story for us and come back and see us again real soon. We thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much.